Hey there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to our second episode of the coaching video. So today we are playing tanks on Eichenwald. And first, with the first round I'm going to play Reinhardt and the second round I'm going to play Orisa. And um, I'm going to try and be really, well, critical on like mechanical stuff because I felt like this game, I, I just missed a lot of mechanical stuff, but I felt like my communication was pretty good, so uh, keep an eye out for the chat that's on screen, because I'm going to just put that on top. Uh, I'm going to give myself a color, and then some of my teammates a different color. There's two guys who actually speak most of the time, and there's one guy who sometimes says something. So you're going to see four different colors in this video. So uh, we're just uh, dealing with... Um, spawn room shenanigans right now, and uh, right now I'm we're talking about whether or not uh, Yusai uh, should pick Mercy, and he actually has a couple of hours on Anna, so it's way better to have him on Anna, and he turns out to be pretty good as well, has some pretty decent sleeps. Uh, all in all, I'm glad that he went Anna because that's it's so much better for someone to play a healer that they can play rather than playing something that fits the meta uh, in, in this elo anyway. We're, we're dealing with a 2800 SR game right now. Alright, so right of the spawn, uh, we find that there's a soldier and I take those rockets to space, which is kind of sad. Uh, I'm talking about my shield status here, which drops really fast by the way. But then luckily, Rodok, well luckily, just uh, Rodok gets a good hug on the Reaper, which means that we get a kill, but I'm, well, I'm, I'm telling them to wait because I need some shield, but we're going back in. My shield's full. Here we go. Uh, so my positioning is uh, right here for the shield. I don't think I should have smashed, but my shield's gonna drop. And right here, I should have probably picked another target to fight because I'm dealing with the tanks, and that's just not my job. Well, let's just say Reinhardt's not the best for doing so. Like I could have melted a Zenyatta that went to the right, but uh, I died. Yeah, so. Sadly, that was. I think I should have went into the right copy hole because my shield was out. I couldn't have protected my team any longer anyway, and maybe I could have killed the Zenyatta. Okay, right yeah, here, let's have a look. Decent fire strike. We should have probably ended them by now. And there oh, comes the shatter. Major, major so I'm right. shattering two people, but I instantly drop again. I'm not really sure why this is happening. Uh, because I just think I'm getting focused by the Roadhog or something in that direction. Our tracer just committed suicide. I'm not really sure what that what that is about. Our Vera got melted by the soldier, and Roadhog just got popped, and our Anna got another kill. Anyway, <clears throat> so we're just regrouping now, and I didn't need to take that free damage. That's free ult charge for them. That again, also free ult charge for our healers. Uh, fire strike, which is no, it's alright. Uh, so we're almost grouped here. And the road of assault. Um, so I'm trying to back out, which successfully matters. And then our teammate calls, let's get the Roadhog. And we got him. So that's good. Now we're going to push. But I'm still waiting for my shield to recharge a little bit. And I actually call out the Zenyatta, but I don't call him out in the right way. So he just gets to be behind me without being punished. And then he pops trends. Uh, with them popping trends and... Attack Visor and Death Blossom and what else was there? Even Valk. So that's a lot of ults. And they also recently used All Hawk. So this is the moment we get the push. But we're not grouped up yet, so that's going to be a problem. I'm not sure if we're calling out for that right now. Up, oh, free damage taken to the face. So that's unnecessary. They're pushing out. We should be punishing them here right now because they have no ults. Well, they can have um, a Risa totem. I just fire strike in a shield there, which is useless. Uh, we have a Zarya now. The Roadhog switched. Alright. Alright. I'm calling out that I want to flank on and then shatter, but I get a Reaper in my face. I'm asking for help, which I get. But he gets away, and then I'm getting collapsed on by the other tanks. And this is just unfortunate, just easily popped by Zen. 
Uh, I think I was out of position there. I'm not really sure whether Zarya went. She went flanking behind. I mean, she is charged now, which is good. But we only have 20 seconds left. And right now, I'm, I'm feeling this game is really unorganized and really chaotic. Even though that the comms are pretty loud. Like, there's a lot of people talking. There's a lot of people calling stuff out. And I'm, I'm not really sure why I'm not doing my job. But then again, maybe Ryan wasn't the right tank for this comp. I mean, who am I protecting right now? There's no one behind my shield. Uh, there's a Reaper that's nano. He's still in front of me. Uh, so it's just, what am I shielding? That's, and then there's a, this is just a bad shatter. Bad, bad, no, 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 bad. Oh well. And then there's a Zen behind me, and there's a Rodok ulting, and then I'm low, and the shield's down. Holy crap, and it's all chaotic. But, we do manage to pull it out of the gutter here. But that's only due to the healer staying alive and the tracer doing some work. Because if the tracer didn't kill that soldier, then we would have been run over. But I think eventually the healers are the ones that won this fight, even though I died like a fucking fly on a wall. Because it was just useless. Oh well. Smack the mercy, which is alright. And then we actually managed to cap the point in overtime, which is. Fucking sweaty, Good job anyway. but we do it anyway. Yeah, nice. All right. So here we just gotta get three people on point. We know the drill. I'm pushing out so we can instantly make space before it's even through the gate. A and a uh, shield up. Sure. Yeah. There we go. Uh, they only have a There's no one behind my shield again. I'm just pushing the payload. Left side down. And the Anna is doing work Bravo. on the Farrah here, which is fucking amazing. Because if she didn't kill her there, then we would have had a hard time. We did actually get a McCree by now, which is oh, decent. She was low. So the McCree was behind there. We killed the McCree, but we lost our reaper. She was low again. Monkey's got nanoed. Alright. Monkey bubble, so I can recharge my shield. McCree gets fucked. That was a bad fire strike for me. Uh, another trends. Holy crap. I think. Yeah, at this point I'm just like, we gotta get out, retreat, because we're in a disadvantage. Uh, I mean, they did use Valk, but I'm low on shields, we're low on teammates, uh, we lost our Ana. I think I'm still going to die, which is a shame. He's still behind. Yeah, damn it. <sighs> I should have gotten out there, but I took the wrong route. Oh, and Monkey's ulti. Which is, um, he got two kills, so we can can actually start fighting when I get back, but two two right the problem now. is is Get that harassed. the moment that he gets it, yeah, the the Zen gets rest, so it's 5v5 right, 5v5 right now. I do actually get Shatter. I'm not sure if I'm going to do any good with it, because I haven't Shattered properly this game. And then he gets hooked, and at this point I should be turning around. I don't, I'm, like, we lost our upfront damage dealer. They're using ults, so why are we still engaging? Like, just back out for a second, because we gotta regroup. We can un we can touch one more time. And we should be able to pull it off. And again, someone of my teammates behind the enemy team, which is why. Anyway, <laughs> let's put that aside. We're looking at my game. Um, so I'm telling the guys I'm gonna touch. Uh, so I'm doing it. Reaper uses ghost, which is shame, but he's actually using my shield for a change. Which is nice, and look, look at the Wild Mercy. That's High Noon, that's ours. So we're 3 for 1. I shattered the tanks. Maybe it wasn't even necessary, but it's alright, because we get the team kill, and we get the point. So I decided to push out, because I know that they're going to try and contest, because it's overtime. And I actually managed to stall the McCree. He does some work on me, but I'm just a distraction right now. I'm not looking to kill anything. I'm just making space because right now they're trying to contest and the only thing that nice. gets through is a mercy which gets right instantly gets bongo. left still contested still bongo bunker no no bongo bunker which is the bongo goes down everything goes right. down we kill all of them because they're Good trickling job. in Again, which makes sucks. it really easy for us but i'm useless at this point but we're doing it. i do feel like the distraction was useful but uh in that fight i don't think i really did anything and then here, I don't know, like I'm still not protecting anyone. Oh, there comes the McCree, finally someone to shield. 
Tracer goes down. She gets their Tracer somehow. Because she stuck to Orisa, but maybe she got too close. So we got no alts to go on right now. I'm not looking at the screen for what are we going to use right now. That's kind of a shame. We should probably be looking. What else do we have? What are we going to fight with in this fight? Otherwise, we should be patient for a second. But I'm not be being patient and we're just running in. Uh, I'm trying to get my ult still, but there's no shield. Do we still have a teammate on the... Yeah. Alright, so the McCree is fucked. Uh, I'm trying to get the Mercy here, but then again, the Zen charges me, which just makes me go bye-bye. Someone slept, there comes another Trance, here comes another Nano. Damn, such a clusterfuck. And we're all just jumping around doing nothing. Anyway, <laughs> we get one, we get the Tracer right now, we lose Reaper, we lose Ana, which means it's uh, probably a... never mind, okay, we're <laughs> it's a 2v4 right now, if the other one's actually, no, it's not, uh, yeah, so over time, getting zoned by two ults, it's over. But, all in all, not a bad push, because we managed to get it. Pretty far. Yeah, now let's see how far we get on the defense. Uh, we got a pretty far. I think we can hold. All right, and we're back on defense where we're playing Orisa, and I'm kind of asking for a second tank because this point is rather tricky to hold with one tank. At least that's my opinion, anyway. I think you can do it, but not with a Torbjorn and a Reaper. And uh, what else do we get? I don't know. Uh, already. I <laughs> forgot. Uh, so the Torbjorn put his turret aggressively, which is alright, but I've always preferred that Torbjorn just sets it up uh, so we could, so it holds the choke. Um, that's a neat trick that I do with Orisa, by the way. The shield takes 5 seconds to come down. If you shoot it straight up, then uh, you already have your cooldown back at the moment uh, it starts being required. Something you can try to do, but um, yeah, it's not necessary. Here, I'm complaining that, well, if we had another tank, we probably would have been able to stop that Hoggy. I might have actually been able to halt him there. I didn't realize that at the time. But I'm complaining about, we need another tank, because they can just walk in unpunished. Um, I didn't have the shield, so I couldn't protect the turret anymore. We lost the torp turret. So, rather messy beginning of the fight. Uh, I'm not really sure what I should be doing as a reset here. There's then again no one standing with me, even though I feel like I'm being in the right place. Uh, maybe I should pro. Yeah, I could have been asking for them to come to me, but I'm not really sure whether or not that's the right idea. Someone in the team calls, let's roll them because we killed a lot, which was the right call. Uh, but I'm still complaining about <laughs> we, that we need more tanks because I feel like. They're just walking in freely without being punished too much, which is... Well, in my opinion, that has all to do with the tanks, but I'm not really sure if that's the case in this situation, but... Uh, just laying down fire on their chokes. Um, yeah, I thought I fortified just before the hook, but um, turns out I fortified just after, which is a shame, because I instantly lose me. And the shield was on cooldown in that situation too, so I couldn't have put anyone down. One second left on the cooldown, on hindsight, uh, which is a shame. So right now we're having a hard time holding. Genji goes ham, the rest comes in from them, but we do actually kill the Orisa, and I just decide to stand on point for a bit. And again, I'm shooting at the Hog, I'm not really sure... Oh, there's the trends. Uh, he was complaining about me eating the whole hog, but it just looks like he shot it past me on this screen. Which is interesting. I mean, I did fortify, but he just missed a whole lot of it. Um, so I died again. I'm, <laughs> there's a lot of... look at that, 11 deaths this game already. Which is a lot, but then again, I'm also blocking a lot of damage. And I'm, I'm not really sure if there's a lot of... Uh, uh, unnecessary blocking in this case, but I just feel like I'm distracting enough for it to work a bit. Holding the Mercy back onto the point which gets killed by the Reaper. Uh, no shield, I'm not sure why I moved away from my shield, but then again there was only two people left, so we should have punished them there, but we instead end up losing me and our Reaper. And let's have a look. Uh, so, you're gonna watch me walk back to point again! <laughs> um, 
50 seconds back on the clock and we decide to back off because they're going to get it. Um, there you go in chat. You can see the hawk complaining about me eating his ult. All I did was fortify and he missed a lot in my opinion because uh, you just see him shoot, shoot past me where on close range the hawk is really precise with his ult but it's a very small spread and on long range it's widespread, easy to hit. So uh, it just looks like he was missing the close range spread. Then again, Orisa is a big fat centaur, so it's weird that he was. Anyway, so we're just laying down fire on some line of sights. That's a poor shield, because what the fuck is with, up with that? I mean, it works because it's getting destroyed and the hog is using it as cover, but um, it's not like it's not great. I'm not really sure what I'm doing with the halt, so I'm just putting it in there. I think I should have been a bit more distracted with it. I could probably aim it up a bit more, so then... Yeah, that's a waste. And then our hog gets hooked, which is a shame. And the whole hog comes in. So we lost three people right now. We only killed Mercy. I think we're going to go and contest after respawn with the group. Because we still have plenty of space to do so. We have three ults to go with. So I think we'll be able to pull it off. Here we are probably oh the Anna killed the Genji didn't notice that so the Anna is doing a lot of work like I mentioned in the beginning he's gonna do a lot here comes a lot of ults <laughs> we're using four ults into the trends it's nano it's reapers it's mine and something else well anyway right here I asked for my team to push along but they didn't because we could well they were up there actually Oh, we should have killed the Reap. I mean, I should have killed the McCree. That's bad luck. I mean, bad aim, actually. Not even luck. Right now, I'm taking the stairs, because that's usually the route people start to take when the point's pushed up this far. And uh, therefore, I'm denying the Hog the regular route, which makes him come up the other side in the second. Which is actually... Uh, there he is. Which is actually useful, because that gives us a lot of free damage. Because we have a lot of easy escape routes, and they don't. As in, we can duck back and not get hit for a while, where if he wants to duck back, he's gone all the way again. Which is... Yeah. Here comes the Orisa ult. I think I should have helped pull back a bit further already, but I still have Fortify and a new barrier. But we managed to get the Hog. I'm not sure what I'm shooting at there. I'm not sure what I'm shooting at here. Uh, that's a Genji Blade behind us and High Noon on the bridge. So much going on already. There's only 26 seconds left. There's a Yada on his own that's pushing the cart. Punish it. There's a McCree on his own bind. So that's just clusterfuck from them. It looks like they're trickling in because they're feeling the pressure of time coming in. But uh, they're not going to pull through because they're silly bastards. Um, so let's conclude on what I think could be better. Um, I'm giving away a lot of free shield. I'm giving away uh, a lot of space and I feel like my team is not always revolving around me. Where as a tank, if you want to be useful you need people around you. So I should probably force myself to get a bit more with my team, but I just couldn't sync with these guys today, so maybe maybe another team another time, but I'm trying to work out what went wrong here. I felt quite useless, and then again, we did quite well. I ended up with 40k blocked in what is, I'm not sure what the game time is, like 15 minutes or something, so that's, that's not bad, but then again, you could consider that that's a lot of blocked that wasn't necessary. 16 minutes, alright. So... In the end, I think that wasn't all necessary, and I wasn't blocking teammates most of the time, which is blocking for myself. You could probably say that that's bad shielding. Um, yeah, so I'm not really sure what how to put it, but I think uh, the Reinhardt was just a lot of bad mispositioning, just out of place most of the time, or just getting melted out of nowhere, or just, uh, I'm not really sure what went wrong with that. The Orisa, I could say, I should probably be a bit less aggressive and be more aware of where my teammates are, because that just missed out for a little bit. Um, anyway, let me let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think I could 
improve because I mostly play tank. Um, I have the most time on Orisa and Reinhardt, and from this game you can't really tell. I felt quite useless, but that's why I'm showing it because it's it's very likely that you can point out the bigger mistakes from this gameplay than from one where I'm stomping. Um, I also play Diva, Rodog, Rhine, anyone except Zarya pretty much for the tank role. So if you would want me to switch in this situation, that would also be a good option because there's a lot of picks that I could have made. Um, but I don't think that was necessary. I think the shielding was pretty useful for the team in general. I just felt like most of the shielding was not at the right time. Anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this. If you have some tips and tricks for me, or if you want me to look at your gameplay, because, well, uh, anything below gold, I can help for sure. Um, anything higher than that, I won't be able to help you, because, well, I'm not even diamond. Um, yeah, so put it in the comment section. If you do want me to review some of your gameplay, you're going to have to give me a YouTube link, and I'll have a look at it. Alright, have a beautiful day, people, and goodbye.